Say that and you're gonna have to come sit right here. <laughs> Hello, welcome to a very knit and kitten vlogmas for December 3rd. My name is Mallory, otherwise known as Just a Dose of Love, all around the internet. So you can find me on Twitter, Ravelry, Instagram, Reddit, and Facebook under Just a Dose of Love. And I am coming to you from Edmonton, Alberta, where I live with my cat Sasika. Connor, Chris, and a snake named Heidi. So this is my Vlogmas video for December 3rd, and what I'm going to be doing with, uh, with Vlogmas is posting one podcast or vlog video per day until December 25th. I'm going to be aiming for 10 minutes of video um, per day, and each Vlogmas video should have something to do with the holiday season. Alright, so I'm just going to jump right into it. <clears throat> so at the beginning I'm going to talk about um, one of my goals for 2019, then I'm going to look back at one of my 2018 goals, kind of see how it went, and we'll go from there. So, 2019 goal, I would like to publish 12 patterns. Yes, uh, it's probably going to be, oh, at least four hats and four pairs of socks and maybe four something else. We'll see how that goes. So that'll be one of my 2019 goals. I had a goal to publish 18 patterns this year and it didn't happen so I'm gonna dial it back a little bit and hopefully we'll, we'll hit the 2019. And <laughs> I know I just talked about one of the 2018 goals um, but that's not actually the one that I wanted to talk about today. For all of my 2018 goals, I had them categorized in a list that I kind of look back on once in a while. And I'm just going through the list as it's written, so I'm not picking and choosing what order, which one I'm looking back on. Um, it's just going to be whichever order they happen to be in. And this one was Astral Harvest. So Astral Harvest is a music festival up close to where I live, uh, where I grew up, sorry, that's in Slave Lake. It actually happens in Drift Pile Valley and it's kind of like an electronic music festival. It's a little bit longer than North Country Fair and like music-wise completely different. Um, it's way more <clears throat> artsy with like the nighttime art, so there's a lot of lights. Um, yeah, and there's just a little more going on um, at all the time and Astral Harvest. It's a, it's a great festival. I really enjoy it. It's going to go on my goals list again for next year because I really don't want to miss it. And it's a fun time to dress up. So if you've seen my, my horn head piece that I made for Halloween or the unicorn head piece I have, those are both definitely going to be coming to Astral with me this year. And hopefully it doesn't rain because those are both like some sort of variation of paper mache, so they're not going to hold up very well in the wet. <laughs> Alright, so that's it for goals today. I am not drinking a tea tonight. I'm drinking a Keurig coffee. It's the Van Hoot Butterscotch Caramel, and it's delicious. And it's been a really... I don't want to say a bad Monday. It's just been an off Monday. I had a splitting headache at work today all day, and I think it was making me kind of stupid, because I was trying to talk to Ashley a few times, and. The words that were coming out of my mouth were just not, it was not working out very well. I was trying to ask a simple question and just, the words weren't there. <laughs> it was really embarrassing and that was just like an example of today. The rest of today was pretty much the same. So, you know, a little pick me up with the coffee. I have a bath drawn so I'm going to hop, hop, hop into the bath after this. I did a little bit of shopping on the way home. I actually grabbed a bath bomb because I really like those things. I have no idea which one this is, but I'm going to show you anyways. So this is one of the Lush bath bombs, and it's got these gold stars. So it's going to make the water nice and blue. I've never tried this one before. I just think it smells good. And it's sparkly, and that's basically all I look for in a bath bomb is how sparkly will it make me and how awesome does it smell. Oh, I probably have blue on my nose. Ah! Okay. 
Okay. Well, if I have this blue spot on my nose now, it's... feel free to laugh at me. I will also laugh when I'm looking back on this. <laughs> So I, yeah, I went, I bought a bath bomb from Lush. I also picked up, what else did I pick up? Oh, a tree skirt, because I did put up the Christmas tree last night. And our Christmas tree stand, it's got three of the original legs, and then, maybe I should back up a step. My Christmas tree came with my house. <clears throat> it was just hanging out in the basement, so that was awesome. It's got, like, lights already built into it. I don't have to worry about hanging the lights and all of that stuff. But the Christmas tree stand only has three legs, so kind of like made a, a fourth one, and it's just a wooden block. So it's a really ugly tree stand. Definitely need a tree skirt for that. And I have no idea where I was from last night. Our last year went. Actually, we didn't put up the tree last year. So it's been even longer since we've had a tree up. I have no idea where the Christmas tree skirt went. So I went to the dollar store and picked up one of those. And since I was out, I also went to the calendar store because I always put off my calendar buying until the end of December and then all the calendars are gone and this last year, 2018, we got stuck with a calendar that has the days running from Monday to Sunday, which has messed us up more than once. If you're used to looking at a calendar that goes Sunday through Saturday and then suddenly you have a Monday through Sunday, Yep, I've definitely written things on the wrong day. We thought things were on a day that they weren't. It's just kind of been a, a bit of a mess ever since we got that calendar. I really like the calendar. It's just too bad that it's a little weird. So this is the calendar that I got today. I always like calendars that have something like uh, fairies, you know, just mystical creatures, wonderful landscapes, fantastical, if you will. So this is the one I got for this year, and hopefully I'm not blinding you with the glare from the light. I think it looks nice. I've got a whole bunch of... Oh, that's lots of glare. Hopefully you can see some of these. <clears throat> I mean, if you have to look at a picture for a month, it may as well be something you really like to look at. Lots of detail. Ooh, there's a cute redhead. Anyways, so now I have our calendar. It's not the end of December. There are still lots of options, and we're good to go for 2019. I was also looking at some day planners. I don't really know what I want in a day planner, though I'd really like to use one, but if I do, it's going to need to have a plastic cover so it doesn't get all ratty because I'm going to carry it around all the time, and other than that, I don't even know where to start. I haven't had a day planner in a while. I really like the, ooh, what's it called? Hmm, can't think of it now. There's one that I saw online that looked really neat. Can't remember, can't remember. At work a couple years ago, they got us one called a productivity planner, and that was awesome. You got to plan out your day by going, okay, this is how many half hour chunks I'm gonna spend on this. <clears throat> and then you can actually fill out, you know, mark off the half hour chunks as they go by and you can see how close you were to what you planned to do with your day and what you actually did and I really liked that. I have a terrible memory so writing things down is really the only way that I can make sure I'm getting things done. That was it. That was all I went shopping for. That was weird because I was out for like two hours. And the roads, oh my gosh, the roads are awful today. We got somewhere between 20 and 30 centimeters of snow this weekend. So that's, what, 8 to 12 inches. There is definitely a foot of snow in some places on the streets today. And they're just ridiculous. So the roads were awful. Tomorrow, they'll probably be a little better. They're already better on most of the major roadways, but the residential streets are still terrible. What else? <laughs> oh. I started on my second Porsche coffee sock today at lunch when I got sushi. I had a sushi craving and <laughs> I didn't get very far. That's how far I got. So probably almost, almost at my 64 stitches. Hopefully I'll get more done tomorrow. 
Although tomorrow's my ASL class and I need to make pumpkin cookies still tonight because I said I was going to make the pumpkin cookies for the class. Speaking of, there's my pumpkin. It's thawing. A couple years ago I had my own garden and I had a whole bunch of pumpkins and I made a really silly mistake of just stuffing as much pumpkin as I could into Ziploc bags and freezing it that way. And then I realized that, one, you have no idea how much pumpkin is in there. Uh, two, it takes a long time to thaw. And three, if you're not using like six cups of pumpkin, it's not really good to freeze and thaw and freeze and thaw. So now I have my little flattened pumpkin bags, pre-measured, two cups of pumpkin. Let me just take them out as you need. And since they're super flat, they thaw super quick. So that's definitely going to be thawed by the time I get out of the bath. It's going to be great. Hmm. Yeah, how do you like my cup? It was a birthday present from my mom. Ah, it's so cute. Look at all those cats. Cats with their Halloween cat, <laughs> Halloween cat hats. That one, he's a ghost and some witches. Ugh. Yep. Mm -hmm. Alright, today is going to be a pretty short vlog video. Having said that, I have no idea how long we've been recording already. There's only a couple more things I want to talk about though. <clears throat> I've got a couple Secret Santa gift exchanges going on right now. I signed up for the Reddit Secret Santa gift exchange, and then I'm in a group chat on WhatsApp and then we're doing a Secret Santa gift exchange too. And my Secret Santa on the WhatsApp group has already sent me a present. I play Magic the Gathering, it's a card game, and use a lot of dice. So I have a lot of dice, a lot of them. And I had these metal ones on my wish list. By the way, um, I put in a video clip of my tree. So if you're wondering what the heck that is at the top of my tree, that's my D20 dice tree topper. A couple years ago I was trying to figure out what the heck I wanted to use for my tree topper because I'm not really into angels and like stars they're fine I guess but it's not, it's not really me so I made a d20 dice topper and that's the 20 sided die. So I'll just show you what they look like. So that's the shape. I used it with toothpicks and some hot glue and it worked out really well. And this is the shape. So you use d20s as a staple in a, when you're playing magic because that's how you count your life. When you get to zero, that's when you lose. And that uh, transitions really nicely into, look at these die! Oh my gosh, they are metal. They're like, this wow. It's so heavy. These are great. And also super sharp, but really pretty. I hope it's focusing on that. This is like the best Secret Santa present ever. And apparently there's more. I just had to share those because I'm so excited about these. It's, I'm gonna, <laughs> I cannot roll these on a table that's going to dent. That's the thing. That'll, that'll definitely dent softwood. Ah! Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. <clears throat> And then, yeah, I'm in the Reddit gift secret Santa. My giftee has requested a computer case, and that's like way out of the $25 recommended spending range. Oops, sorry, shaking the camera. Uh, spending range that I was kind of planning for, so I think maybe I'm just gonna get him a gift card and be like, here's my contribution to your case. Sorry, I don't have that much extra money. <laughs> I, I feel bad about it, but at the same time, uh, if you know what the recommended spending limit is, why would you ask for something that's so far outside of that spending range? It's not even like a computer case, it's a very specific computer case. I can't even buy myself a computer case. That's a lie. I could, but I would have to buy all of the other computer parts too. And... Eh, anyways. I'm also in a card exchange with my WhatsApp group. And we're just gonna all send each other Christmas cards. So, I got these little Christmas cards. It's got a cat. 
And I think it just says Merry Christmas on the inside. Yeah. So, I'm going to send out a few of those, and I'm also going to hunt through my card stash, because I'm sure I still have cheesy owl Christmas cards. I am, like, so positive that I do. For probably three or four years straight, all I bought for Christmas cards had owls on them, in one way or another, so... I know I have some somewhere. I have, like, the biggest stash of Christmas cards hanging around. And that's about it. So I'm going to cut it here, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Stay wonderful, and stay warm. It is getting cold out. Thank you.